Let's come now to the expected returns. What is expected return? The expected return is the profit or loss that an investor anticipates on an investment that has known historical rates of return or the ROR. It is calculated by multiplying potential outcomes by the chances of them occurring and then totaling these results. Atong expected return is ano ba yung magiging ano mo profit or loss kapag nag-invest ka dito sa uh, business, specific business na gusto mo. So, as an entrepreneur, kailangan mo itong i-consider itong expected return upang ma, ano mo, ma-secure na you will be profitable rather than you loss in your business. The key takeaways, an expected return is calculated by multiplying potential outcomes by the uh, by the odds of them occurring and then totaling these results, uh, yung uh, magiging uh, capital mo, syempre, uh, yeah, i-subtract mo doon sa magiging mga expenses mo, then totaling the results doon. Makukuha mo yung expected return na pwedeng bumalik sa'yo if you have already um, uh, in a best business venture. Then, the expected returns cannot be guaranteed. So, hindi um, magiging sigurado na ikaw ay kikita, magiging profitable ka. Example, in the year 2019, will not be the same in the year 2020. Then, the expected return for a portfolio containing multiple in investments is the weighted average of the expected return of its of the investment. Understanding expected return. Expected return calculations are key piece of both business operations and financial theory, including in a well-known models of the modern portfolio theory. MPT are the black S tools options pricing model. Halimbawa, if an investment has a 50% chance of gaining 20% and a 50% chance of losing 10%, The expected return would be 5% equals to 50% times 20% plus 50% times negative 10%. The product is 5%. The expected return is a tool used to determine whether an investment has a positive or negative average net outcome. Itong uh, expected return is a useful tool upang ma-determine whether your investment has uh, earning or losing. Uh, kailangan na-secure mo ito upang hindi ka malugi. Then, the sum is calculated as the expected value of an investment given its potential returns in different scenario as illustrated by the following formula. The expected return is equal to return e times probability, where i indicates its known return and its per respective probability in series. The expected return is the usually based on historical data, is therefore not guaranteed into the future. So, ito pala na expected return is usually nakabase sa historical data, mga pre previous uh, uh, business results, ng mga business owners, ng mga, da, ibang mga businessman or entrepreneur na kanilang experience in a ben, business venture na meron sila. There, therefore, not guaranteed into the future na kung ano yung um, naranasan nila will also be same assures, uh, same scenario or circumstance na meron ka. Halimbawa, Um, kumita sila pwedeng uh, ikaw um, di ka masyadong kumita. So, defending upon 
Therefore, the expected return figure can be thought of as long-term weighted average of historical returns. Itong ano, expected return is the long-term weighted average. Magiging basihan siya upang um, maging guide mo siya doon sa ginagawa mong business venture. Kasi itong pag-engage uh, dito sa business ay hindi madali. Risky po talaga siya. In the formulation above, for instance, the 50% expected return may never be realized in the future and as the investment is the inherently subject to the systematic and the unsystematic risk. So, dito as a uh, alimbawa ikaw naglalayo na mag-engage, mag ng business gusto mo mag in the future kailangan mo ito uh, ma-realize itong mga systematic and as unsystematic risk na pwede mong kaharapin during the business venture. Then, itong sinasabing systematic risk is the danger to the market sector or the entire market. Kung saan um, itong systematic risk na ito ay hindi lang siya nangyayari alimbawa locally but um, globally. Pwede siyang nangyayari. Itong specifically it dito sa market sector or the entire market ng global economy, economy not only of the Philippines but the whole world because of the coronavirus disease 2019 so talagang affected ang entire market whereas unsystematic risk applies to us a specific company or industry so ilan lamang itong unsystematic risk na naapektuhan ah uh, dito. Sample, alimbawa yung Jollibee will be affected when the issue of the uh, fried, fried chicken towel. So, talagang apektuhan yung um, yung functioning ng entire branches, not only in the Philippines, but uh, globally kung saan merong mga Jollibee branches. Then, When considering individual investments or for polios, a more formal equation for the expected return of a financial investment is expected return equals to risk premium plus beta, expected market return minus risk premium. Kung saan itong RA is equal to expected return, yung magiging balik sa'yo, yung RF is the risk pre-rate of return, B, the investment beta, and RM is the expected market return. In essence, this formula states that the expected return in the excess of the risk pre-rate of return depends on the investment beta or relative volatility and compared to the broad, broader market nakabase itong expected return kung ilan yung risk pre-rate of return na in-invest mo in a specific company alimbawa in uh, in the entire five whole years ilan yung ilang percent yung in-invest mo para ma-support yung long term uh, goal na Then, the expected return and standard deviation are two statistical measures that can be used to analyze a portfolio. The expected return of a portfolio is the anticipated amount of returns that portfolio may generate, making it mean average of the portfolio's possible return distribution. The standard deviation of a portfolio on the other hand measures the amount that returns debit from its being, making it a proxy for the portfolio. Itong, ano pala, uh, standard deviation, uh, measure the amount of amount that the returns they paid from its mean, making it a proxy for for portfolios. Please, ito, nami-measure nyo yung how risky um, the business that you are engaging. Uh, yung expected return ay mataas ba? Nababalik sa'yo? Or maliit lang. 
the important matters here is the expected return is absolute as it is projection and not a realized return. So, pag sinabi natin uh, uh, not absolute is not um, exact, not definite. So, pwede, nagkakamali is din ito. At is a projection and not a, not realized uh, return. Kasi pag sinabi projection, parang ano lang siya din, uh, statement of uh, what will happen or might happen yeah, in the future. Understood? Okay. Then, the limitations here of the expected return uh, to make investment decisions solely on expected return, calculations can be quiet tape and then juice. So, um, we need to understand it that if you want to engage in the business in the future, if wala pa kayong um, business ngayon, uh, this is the opportunity that you think thoroughly if uh, you want it talaga in the future. To make investment decisions solely on expected return, ca calculations can be quiet made and dangerous. Mapanganib siya, risky. Before making an investment decision, one should always review the risk characteristics of investment opportunities to determine if the investment aligns with the portfolio. So, that is really true. That if you are one of the uh, top um, leading, uh, you want to be top entrepreneur na sumasabay dito in growing our Philippine economy. So, kailangan natin ditong um, ma-review yung mga risk characteristic of investment opportunities to determine if the investment will align the portfolio goals. Kasi dito, uh, mahalaga uh, may mga limitations din kasi baga na sinasabi dito ang um, expected return dito sa business na kung gusto mo talaga ito ay hindi siya magiging madali kasi uh, firstly uh, kailangan meron kang prior knowledge um, talagang thorough understanding so kasi alimbawa kung ano wala ka pang um, history, wala ka pang experience into that specific uh, business, so talagang pwedeng malugi, malugi ka. Kung magbabasi lang tayo dun sa mga historical data, dun sa mga um, mga entrepreneur, mga businessman, mga business venturer na successful na because of what uh, the experience, pwedeng din natin um, experience. The experience previously will not applicable in the future. So, that is um, thinking, thinking stage. So, think about that. For example, assume two hypothetical investment exist, their annual performance results for the last five years. So, dito, um, na kuha kong example internet. So, kailangan maging matalino tayong investor. Dito, alin dito yung pipiliin mo? Alin mo, guys, yung mayroong choices, investment A, then investment B. Okay, balik natin. Dito sa investment A, 12%. Sa unang taon, 12%. Sa ikalawang taon, 2%. Sa ikatlong taon, 25%. Yung i-invest mo. Sa ikaapat na taon, uh, negative 9% na lang yung invest mo. Tapos, 10% sa ikalimang taon. Dito, sa second choice, choice B, investment B, sa unang taon, 7% yung kailangan mong invest. 6% sa ikalawang taon. Sa katlong taon, 9%. Sa ikaapat na taon, 12%. And sa ika Huling taon, ikalimang taon, 6% yung kailangan mong i-invest. Okay. Take note of that, guys. Both of these investments have expected returns of exactly 
percent. Yung pinakita ko kanina in investment A and investment B ay mayroong expected returns of exactly 8%. However, when analyzing the risk of its as defined by standardization, investment A is approximately 5 times riskier than investment B. So, mas mapanganib na i-risk yung investment A kesa sa investment B. Yung mukha, mas risking limang beses itong investment A kesa sa investment B. That is, investment A has standard deviation of 11.26% and investment B has a standard deviation of 2.28%. So, kung makikita natin about investment, sa expected dito sa 8% pero dito, according to the standard deviation, 11.26% ito yung uh, investment A. Then, itong investment B, merong standard deviation na 2.28%. Then, itong sinasabing standard deviation ay a common statistical metric. Pa, uh, unit, uh, unit of measurement, metric used by analysts to make or to measure an investment historical volatility or risk. Kung gaano ka risky, itong um, pag-invest mo, alin ba yung dapat piliin mo? The investment A or investment uh, B through thorough uh, understanding uh, calculations. So, uh, talagang uh, risky mag-enter um, sa isang business. So, kailangan, mar marami tayong mga factors na kailangan uh, i-set before we enter that entrepreneurial uh, world. The expected return, ito yung mga pros niya, go just the performance of an uh, performance of an asset. Go just uh, nagbubu siya, um, malalaman mo yung performance nung um, halimbawa nag-invest ka, ilan ba yung magiging return uh, sa'yo, uh, ilan yung babalik. So, um, dito, makikita mo, nalibawa, um, halaki yung na-invest mo. So, yung uh, magiging performance ng business mo ay talagang magiging, ano, um, mataas na pwede kang kumita. Then, we, uh, different scenario. Um, ma- Pagahandaan mo yung different scenario, mga situation na pwede mong kaharapin in this uh, uh, business na meron ka. Then, the disadvantage, the cones, doesn't take risk into account. Depending, uh, di kasi lahat ng mga experience ng isang entrepreneur or businessman ay pwede mo rin... Uh, may experience, halimbawa kumita sila, pwede hindi ka mu, o, kumita o malugi ka pa. So, dito, uh, doesn't take risk into account. The, um, hindi nito ina-assure na magiging profitable ka in your business venture. Then, based largely on historical data, kasi, yes, kanina, sabi ko na to, largely on historical data. Mga previous um, uh, experiences, mga uh, research, na mga analyst, so, dito lang nakabase. So, iba-iba rin kasi yung uh, yung flow, yung ang um, Uh, demand into the market so iba-iba siya yung competition hindi siya hindi natin siya ano um, magiging pantay kasi iba-iba talaga siya so ito yung kanyang contradiction 
Then expected return example, the example here are the expected return does not just apply to a single security or asset. Hindi lang sa singular na um, hindi lang uh, single yung mga nag-invest uh, dito. It can be also be expanded to analyze and a portfolio containing many investor or investment. So, marami nag invest dito sa um, company. So, hindi hindi natin uh, masusolo ito that alone, the alibaba yung businessman only, the entrepreneur only. So, marami pang mga um, other other uh, people, asset na uh, help building uh, the company to become successfully. So, it contains many investments. If the expected return for its investment is known, the portfolio's overall expected return is a weighted average of the expected returns of its components. So, yung um, pag nag-grow, nag, naging successful, naging matagumpay, tumaas, yung expected return of a company. Ang um, kumita ang um, business na meron ka. So, yung its um, its overall expected return uh, will be uh, given, allocated to its component. So, ito, magiging um, matagumpay, maganda yung resulta dito. Pag merong ang um, overall expected return na mataas. For example, let's assume we have an investor interested in technology sector. Therefore, Polio contains the following stocks. Una, Alphabet Incorporated nag-invest ng $500,000 and an expected return of 15%. Yung Apple Incorporated naman ay nag-invest ng $200,000 and mayroon expected return na 6%. Samantalang itong Amazon.com Incorporated nag-invest ng $300,000 and an expected return of 9%. So, alin dito yung may mataas na expected return? So, kitang-kita naman na itong Alphabet Incorporated mayroong ang um, expected return of 15% kung saan gumastos din sila ng $500,000. Pumapangalawa itong Amazon.com Incorporated na nag-invest ng $300,000 at mayroong 9% na expected return. Tapos, uh, the last but not the least, itong Apple Incorporated nag-invest ng $200,000 and meron silang expected return na 6%. With a total portfolio value of $1 million, the weights of Alphabet, Apple, and Amazon in the portfolio are 50% 15 for Alphabet, 20% for Apple, and 30% for Amazon. Thus, the expected return of the total portfolio is 50% times 15% plus 20% times 6% plus 30% times 9% equals to 11.4%. How is expected return used in finance? finance? Paano ba ito ginagamit na expected return ito sa financial aspect? Itong expected return calculations are key piece of both business operations and financial theory, including in the way uh, well-known models of modern portfolio theory, MPT, or the Black Scholes Options Pricing Model. It is tool used to determine whether an investment has a positive or negative average net outcome. The calculation is usually based on the historical data and therefore cannot be guaranteed of future results. It can 
set reasonable expectations. So, yun nga, sinasabi ko kanina na itong expected return will be based only on the historical data and will not guarantee if what you will get, what will uh, gain by the um, other entrepreneurs or other business uh, owners, businessmen, uh, magiging pareho din sa'yo in the future na mayroon ka limbawa sa inyong business. So, hindi. But it can set a reasonable expectation. So, magiging basis mo siya uh, the business that you want to engage in the future will be based on uh, the historical data. Okay. We are uh, uh, done with um, expected return. So, um, this time, I will be tackling about risks.